All right, Brandon here, coming at you with a Target pallet unboxing, unwrapping. There's a Target pallet right there. So I'm gonna go through that today. You're gonna see everything I'm doing here. So let me go ahead and get started. Let's get this open. See exactly what's in here. There's a lot of stuff in there. It looks like it's pretty loaded. And this stuff here is going to go from this pallet into these bins that we run inside of our warehouse. It's an e commerce warehouse mostly. We do eBay, Amazon, Walmart. But uh, a lot of the stuff that we can't sell, we stick out in these bins and we run them on like a bin store model. Not quite the same, it's a little different. There goes a lot of it. Alright, so first thing we got is a suitcase. It's a nice suitcase. I don't know if I'm going to put that in the bin. Usually we put everything in there, but... I can get more than everything's supposed to be 10 bucks today. I can get more than that. Got some furniture. It's a Warwick narrow console table. Cool. What else do I got? I'm not sure what this is. It's a mirror. It's probably broken. I don't know if it's too broke. It is. Got a trash can full of some nice bath mat rugs. A rug. It's actually a big rug. Nice trash can. And I sold for 10 bucks. And another trash can full of clothing. So I'm not sure exactly what's in there. But there's something good in here. I don't know. So that'll go in the bins. This will go to get listed. It's probably over 10 bucks. And it won't sell in the bins. And it looks like there's a lot of clothing. In this thing. Let's see if I have any good luck with this pallet. I paid $5.50 for it. And so far it's not looking too hot. It's a random lid. Come on, give me something good in here. Oh, here's another trash can full of stuff. Pillows. More pillows. Another pillow. And another pillow. All right, what's in this box? Use Chelsea boots. Not sure what it is. Some more shoes. So far, this palette is not looking too impressive. Let's see a flannel stripe. Sam. What else do we got? We got some more clothing. I don't know if I'm going to leave all that clothing in there. Usually we just try to list it because it doesn't really sell out of here. In our little store we got going on. Some more ping pong balls. 
this is cool. And it does look brand new. Damaged box. It's probably fairly expensive, but I'm going to leave it in the bins. There's a deer. That's made out of rope. Still not looking too hot. Mechanical pencils. Put those in there. More pencils and more cleaning. More potted flowers. Not sure what that is. It's going to go over here. Some socks. These pencils. The other one. Some more socks. So overall, I don't think I'm going to make too much, if anything. I might take a loss on this pallet. I mean, we've gotten some pretty good ones from this place before. Hi, Annette. Some more clothing. That was Annette. She's going to be listing the clothing. Rock Dove slipper. Oh, there's the other one. Some belts. Nice belts. Uh oh. I'm scared to open this one. Let's leave it in there. Bras are always expensive. That's cool, an X-Men shirt. I'm not sure what these are. These must be uh, pillowcases? Table cover. Cool. What do we got? A micro plush blanket heated. I wonder why they return that. Maybe it didn't work. I don't know. Take your risks, I guess. What is this? That's oh, a sweatshirt. Thirty dollars. And that'll probably list that. That'd be a good one. Some more pillows and a little outfit there. More table covers. What do we got here? Some sketchers. Memory foam. Size eight men. Hopefully those sell. Ten dollars. All this other stuff, the prices will drop throughout the weekend. So it goes down to six the next day, three, and then two, and then whatever doesn't sell throughout that weekend goes into dollar bins, which I'll show you out later on or outside. Everything's a dollar or something, obviously. And then whatever doesn't sell on those, they get palleted up and sold for cheap. All right, we'll see what's in this box here. This is going to be all the cell phones. All right, we got a Nerf gun. That should draw some people in. I put that out on Facebook. Between that and the Legos, people ought to be showing up. It's a nice uh, quilt. 
that net would probably kill me if I just put that in there. So that probably goes with it. Let's see what is this? This is a plush and Sherpa comforter set. I think I'm gonna have to raise the prices on those or list them. Some nice uh, snow boots look like they're used. Somebody went to the snow once and decided they're not going to go again. Ornaments. There's a wolf stocking. My wife will probably want that. Some pants. We have women's underwear. A wall shelf. Look at that, my watch thinks it's running. But I'm just moving so fast. Some more ornaments. Oh, what's in here? More fake plants. There's a clock. Some pants. Some photo frames. Some uh, makeup brushes. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe a pumpkin. Pillows. We got lots of pillows. Bag is filled with frames, pictures, There's a picture of something, sailboats. That's cool. Somebody wanted that. This would be a nice gift, you know, being here almost Christmas for somebody to buy and give. Bakeware set. This basket with another fake plant. What do we got here? Holiday spruce, winter air eucalyptus balsam. Pumpkin. Blankets. I don't know why people will return a blanket. Or maybe it just got damaged at the store. Picture frames. More picture frames. And another blanket. And that's it in that box. Uh, let's see what, what else fell off here. Little basket set. Oh, this is in there. Some uh, overalls with a belt attached to it. A pillow. A damaged basket and with another smaller basket. Let's see what this piece of furniture here is here. Carter's. toddler bed so if I put that together I'll probably get something substantial for it all in all I think I can get my money back at least some of the stuff will stay in here for $10 a day but it's not a great 
way to get merchandise is these target pallets here some of them I've had really good luck with I found phones Kate Spade cases and whatnot but not all the time and that's all I have for today